What's going on, man? Welcome to the channel. I'm Vibe Choji, man. And today, man, we got another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero banger character trailer premiere that's getting ready to start right now, man. Um, the, the roster's looking pretty much mapped out, so I want to see what direction they go in as far as the characters they announce. Uh, well, well, maybe we get some GT characters, or maybe we get some characters we already expect to be in the game that just haven't shown up yet. But we'll see, man. Trailer getting ready to start right now. Let's get it. New Spark and Zero trailer up, man. Character premiere trailer, man. So let's see what they give us. Budokai Tenkaichi returns, man. People been telling me stop calling it, stop calling the Budokai Tenkaichi when they calling the Budokai Ten Tenkaichi. So what, what you want me to do, bro? Spark is, I know the official title is Spark and Zero, bro. But in my heart, in my mind, bro, it's Tenkaichi. Cyberman confirms they weren't already. I think Napa was already locked in. We got Chao Tzu. This is all Saiyan Saga. Look like they pretty much just going through the Saiyan Saga right now. Confirming characters that. Frieza Saga. Oh man, what a pool. Uh, see you. I, I, I don't know how to say bro name, but glad to see he's in the game. You know, <laughs> was really waiting on that one. The Doria, we pretty much already knew what the deal was with the Doria. Same for Zarbo. So they pretty much confirmed the characters that we're going to see as we go through the story um, that we all expected to be in the game. So I don't think we're going to be seeing any crazy reveals here, honestly, if they just strictly going through the story from saga to saga. This is like they just kind of just giving us a preview of the story modes. Nail. Nail might actually be the most exciting character in this trailer. I always thought Nail was pretty cool. Guild, yeah, so the whole game for is pretty much locked in. I mean, they've always been featured in Tech IT games. I don't know why to. I don't know why this one would be any different or Sparking Zero would be any different. That transformation was actually pretty tough, though. That They kind of snapped on Freeza transformation. It wasn't just like a flash of light and he popped up new form. You actually saw him going to his new body. That was, yeah, they kind of snapped with Freeza uh, second form transformation. Here we go. Giving us a glimpse of what the uh, Super Saiyan part gonna look like in this uh, Frieza saga. Why is it still daytime outside and they fight? I'm sure the story is not like that. I'm sure they fight like in that story mode. Like they fight on a destroy dynamic. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm about to say the Super Saiyan fight don't hit the same if it's not on the destroy version dynamic, bro. There we go. Damn, that's it, bro. That's it. Budokai Tech IG Series, Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Let's take a look at the roster. Um, they didn't add nothing crazy. Couple spots left. It's probably like 20 spots left, bro. Um, damn. That's kind of that was kind of mid, bro. Six characters early unlock. Um, and it's really just two characters, but you get three different forms for each. Uh, what we got? We got three DLC, so the superhero and the Dragon Ball Daima. Which is crazy to announce as DLC because the anime is not even out yet. So, but if the anime is a banger, then it's nice to know we'll be getting DLC for that. Season pass bonus to summon Shimra. Awesome upgrade pack. You get the super costume with the power pole. Some voice sets, two player card backgrounds, one customization item. Ultimate edition is summon super Shinra. Uh You get three days early access. Yeah, this is kind of this is all the same. Nothing changed. The deluxe edition look like it might be. Yeah, the deluxe edition is gonna be where it's at for sure. Three D, you get the DLC season pass, the summer shim right, and you get the three days early. That yeah, season passes, yeah. I mean the deluxe edition. Let me let me I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna go back to it. That was mid. That was mid S, bro, if I must say, bro. Um They didn't really need a trailer for this. You know what I mean? I guess they kind of just throwing shit out there because See, when you get a demo and everyone gets their hands on the demos, bro, and the demo is like, 
it's so much of what the game is going to be in terms of gameplay. It's nothing really new for them to show us right now, man. And I feel like that's kind of why the hype for me has died down for Sparking Zero because every day you look at it, there's every day you pull up YouTube, there's new exclusive Sparking Zero gameplay footage. And it's the, the demo that we've been seeing for the last couple months just with a different character or whatever the case may be. And some of it's cool to look at, but like, all right, it's only so much you really want to look at before you can actually play the game. And it's kind of like, it, it might be killing, it kill, it's killing the hype for me. I won't say, say for nobody else, I'm still hyped for the game. I still think it's going to be the greatest anime game of all time, bro. Like I said in my previous videos, but right now I'm kind of just more on the side. Like, okay, when it gets here, it gets here. You know what I mean? And then they drop a trailer like this. This trailer was super mid. I'm not going to hold y'all, bro. They said, they, they announced it as a character reveal trailer premiere or whatever. And you feel me? Like everybody was, I was looking forward to it. Like maybe we get some nice cool characters to be confirmed. This is, these are pretty much fodder mid tier characters that I don't think nobody really cares about, but at the same time, they are staples in the story mode. So they have to be in the game. I'm not mad they're in the game. I expect them to be in the game. I don't think they all, all these characters from the Cybermen to Zarbon to the Ginyu Force, I don't think they needed their own trailer to tell us they was going to be in the game in the freezer forms. Like, just me. I don't think they needed a trailer to tell us these characters are going to be in the game. We kind of already knew from all the jump. But like I said, when you get to the point and you get, you got to, you kind of just got to push out stuff to keep people hyped for release. And they got so much of the gameplay. This is pretty much the only route you can go for real. So it is what it is. Nothing, nothing crazy today for Sparking Zero. Nothing new. Or I would say we did get a new trailer, a new look at Freezer transformations and stuff. So for some information there that y'all was looking for, I mean, I'm sure as far as the Sand Saga and the Freezer Saga, they pretty much answered it with this. Nice little preview of what the story mode was going to be. But yeah, man, that's it. I ain't really got too much. I ain't really too much to say about it, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling, man, about the new character reveal trailer, man. Did they pull a fast one on this, bro? Or this is kind of standard operating procedures, man. But let me know. Uh, I ain't got too much. That's pretty much going to do it for me, man. Like I said, let me know in the comments how y'all feeling about the new trailer. How y'all feeling about the Sparking Zero hype going forward. I'm Bob Charging Man, and that'll do it, man. Until next time, I catch y'all later. Let's get it, yo.